Jakarta is the 10 cities with high traffic index in the world, followed after Istanbul, Turkey, and New Delhi, India, according to TomTom Index. Therefore, many office employees have limited time and meals option to go out for lunch during time, especially in Jakarta's business area. According to Badan Pusat Statistik in 2019, there are 136 million of workforce in Indonesia, while 129 million of them are formal and informal worker. Ramon.com is an online marketplace used by office employees to get ready to meals product for lunch. However, the product only have three variant menu and cannot be directly consumed since the product will be delivered on the next day. Here we can see that RTC menu of fresh ingredients in Ramon website. To fulfill 56 million workers, Ramon.com innovates of self-heated meals that sold in the vending machine. According to research and markets, the vending machine global market grew 1.3%, while Indonesia market predicted will be increased during the increasing of public using e-money and e-wallet as their public transportation payment. The vending machine provides many self-heated meals variant. This vending machine is supported with cash, e-money, and e-wallet payment. With self-heated meals products allow workers to prepare their meals at their office in no time. Just put heating agent in the tray, put back food container, pour with water, cover and wait for 5 minutes. To have a better understanding for our target customer base, we are using customer empathy map. We noted that the customer need time efficiency in having lunch. They think that the waiting time spent for ordering from restaurant or online food is unnecessary. Therefore, we concluded that the customer problem statement is how to provide a convenient lunch in office area without spending too much time to wait. Next, we can see the causal loop diagram which highlight the customer need of time efficiency during lunch time with healthy hygiene and variant menus. Value proposition canvas is used to identify the needs and relevant value for a customer. In general, during lunch time, employee complains about food packaging defect, unhealthy ingredients, food boredomness, and have no time to wait from restaurant or online order. Therefore, the business innovation for Bramang.co that we offered are quick food preparation, detailed ingredient label, food menu varieties, and good packaging quality. Using the Blue Ocean strategy, we comparing the values component between Bramang.co against competitors such as Lokita and TukangSoyer.co. We can see that the self-heated packaging and touchscreen fanning machine are becoming the uncontested market space for Bramang.co among other competitors. From the value business model canvas, here we can see the value proposition such as Providing a convenient lunch in office area using the self-heated packaging technology and integrated mobile apps payment. Meals with healthy ingredients and variant menus and easy to reach in office area. The customer segments are office employee who have no time to go to restaurant or waiting online food order and office employee who looking for healthy and hygiene lunch with variant menus. For channels, we are using key partners promotions such as GoPay of Odana for sales boosting and also through social media such as Instagram and YouTube. The customer relationships are promotional program to loyal customer via mobile apps and hotline number 24 hour for any complaints. The revenue stream is 30% margin from sales through distribution point of vending machine. The key resources are asset for vending machine, food vendor, packaging vendor, warehouse vendor, and IT vendor. The key activities are engaging with food vendor, engaging with office building management, and standardizing the packaging quality. The key partners are digital payment gateway and office building management. And last, the cost structure are fixed costs from vending machine, food vendor, machine maintenance, and IT infrastructure. Variable costs from food packaging. Business model environment analysis is describing the external factors to influence the implementation of business innovation for Bramang.co. The first is market forces, convenient food for lunch, healthy hygiene and variant menus, key trend, increasing of user access to internet and mobile apps, technology enthusiasts, and time efficiency during lunchtime. Industry forces, limited producer of meals with self-heated packaging, no direct or head-to-head -head competitor for food vending machine. Potential customer is Wong Solo with different distribution channel system through their own outlet or restaurants. Macroeconomic forces, the global market for vending machine estimated at $134 billion dollar in 2020 and $146 billion dollar in 2027. The growth of vending machine by $9 billion dollar during 2020 to 2024. Let's take a look at our timeline. We use Gantt chart to mapping the activities for each year. We divide into three phases. Phase 1. Establishment. In this phase, we set up the business and its ecosystem. 
phase 2, expansion. In this phase, we try to expand our supply chain network by acquiring more food vendors. And last phase, development. In this phase, we try not only to maintain our existing market, but also keep developing the business by adding product lines and so on. After set the timeline, then we convert it into key performance indicator. You're very deftly set the KPI for each year. Year 1, 20 foot vendors, 5 vending machines, and 3 digital payments. Year 2, add 15 foot vendors and 5 vending machines. Year 3, similar strategy with year 2. So in total we have 15 vending machines and 50 foot vendors. The importance in valuing the business is through ROI calculation. With assumption of one year, consists of 250 working days in Indonesia, Brambang must sell at least 50 packs per working day. Means, if Brambang have 5 vending machine in the first year, each vending machine must be able to sell at least 10 packs per working day for office lunch. Hence, the target start at 12,500 packs on the first year. Here are the detailed calculation. In the graph, you can see that we are optimistic that break-even point will be merged in our first year. At the end, we try to validate our business model by using the AV analysis. From desirability to feasibility, Brambang address office worker need for lunch by providing convenient self-heated meals with many distribution points. From feasibility to viability, Brambang become the pioneer of food vending machine in Indonesia. And from viability to desirability, Brambang offers healthy and variants of home-cooked menus for your perfect lunch. These are the ways how we convert consumer to regular customer. Free gift with purchase, free purchase discount, loyalty program, and superior customer service. And these are the ways how our business sustain in the future. By creating vending machine ecosystem and developing new product lines. In conclusion, Brambang comes with innovation to provide perfect lunch for you during the busy day. Brambang believes it is not easy to be a pioneer, but it is fascinating. We are at the pioneer stage. We are taking the first footstep for modern eating habit in Indonesia. Thank you for watching.